Hello, SUMC. Rob here, reporting in from one of SUMC Music's remote outposts with some more thoughts and another friendly check-in to continue to hope you're safe and well and to encourage you to stay in touch. As you watch this video, I will be finishing up the 24th time that I have taught on the instructional staff of the George N. Parks Drum Major Academy. If you've been watching these videos for more than a year, you know that in late July, I spend four or five days helping to teach high school students who are about to be the drum majors of their high school marching bands how to do that. And yes, it's very gratifying work. We help the kids figure out how to flap their arms in a way that will look to their marching band mates like some form of conducting. We offer them some procedures for how to help their band directors teach the other band kids how to march, how to learn field formations, how to better play the music for their halftime shows. And we offer them some thoughts about how to navigate the treacherous waters of peer leadership. Because at any age, leading people who are your own age or older can be a challenge, especially if you don't have a degree or other official credentials that you can point to and say, I'm qualified. All that is very important, and we, the teaching staff, take our collective job very seriously. That said, that's not the only reason a lot of us go back summer after summer to do the DMA thing. We go back because for a lot of us, that week or so is the only time all year that we'll get to be together. Yes, we see each other on social media, but it's not the same, is it? Some of my best friends in the world, many of whom I consider objectively the best, sweetest, most good-hearted people on the face of planet Earth, I have met through my Drum Major Academy work. Some of the instructional staff I've worked with actually were Drum Major Academy students of mine first. Either I helped them break down their practice conducting videos, or they were in my outdoor squad competition companies. Actually, a startling number of them. And a nice number of the people I was working with this past week, I've known for 10 or 15, or in a couple of cases, 35 years. We joke that DMA summer sessions are old home week, except that's not as much of a joke as it used to be. Oy. And we have a glorious, inspiring, and very often silly time together. A wise philosopher once said, humans learn in the presence of joy better than they learn in the presence of stress. And the title of a professional development workshop I once attended was, What is done without joy is zero. I feel like we're a more effective drum major teaching team because we make such a point of enjoying each other's company. And this is why, if you eavesdrop on an SUMC choir rehearsal, you'll hear about 60% singing and 40% laughing. Partly, Kevin and I work with a bunch of people who have very refined senses of humor. But partly, we do try to foster an environment in which people feel like they can let their hair down a bit and, you know, actually have fun. What a concept. So, even though I made this video long before I headed off to Westfield State University this week to teach drum major kids, I could safely assume that I'd be able to report at the end of this week that I'd had a joyful, silly, and productive week, and that I'd had lots of wonderful reunions with friends I hadn't seen for a while. And when our choir gets together again in late August to prepare for the new program year, I expect to have wonderful reunions with friends, some of whom I hadn't seen for a while. A very similar thing happens, even though we're not apart for that long between staff meetings, in staff meetings. Just last week, as the staff began its meeting, one staff member looked around and called out, It's our work family! And it wasn't ironic or sarcastic, it was genuine. Which is cool. And in each case, we pick up right where we left off, like we hadn't been apart at all. And we have lots of in-jokes and fun and silliness. That's the best bit, I think. Anyway, please check back here every Friday afternoon if you like for more video hellos here on SUMC's Facebook page or on the SUMC YouTube channel, Sudbury United Methodist Chur 2501. My email address will appear here momentarily. Please feel free to use it any time for any reason. And as always, if you need to get in touch with any church staff people for any reason, please do during normal business hours. Because no matter how, no matter what, doing the work of the church together is the big thing. Keep in touch. Keep the faith. Stay connected.